Hey lovely people of the universe, it's me, Simple Sims, also known as Lexi, and welcome back to part 19 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations, and uh, ignore the baby in the hallway. So, first things first, we have to fix up Miss Ensley here and see what she looks like. I did not forget. So let's do that right away. Okay, and here she is. She looks pretty much exactly like her brothers, which is kind of crazy. I almost thought that she would have like a different look to her, but I don't know who I'm kidding. All the kids look exactly the same. So then again, they're all boys. So I don't know. Anyway, she's she's looking like a mirror. Everybody looks like a mirror. But I'm going to give her that cute little hair. And let's see, for her sleepwear, let's give her a full body. Let's give her, I mean, that's cute. And then formal wear, I don't really Dad, know Dad. if we'll see it. Or anything like that. Um, I mean, this one came with generations. I don't really... I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It is definitely cute. I just, I don't really know how formal it is, but I mean, you know, it's here. So we're using it. And then for every day, we can just give her this cute little dress with some white shoes, swimwear, <laughs> yeah, little bikini, no shoes, outerwear. I, once again. I'm drawing a blank on what season it is. It's kind of crazy because like you would think I like just saw it. Already drawn a blank. Anywho, her personality, she is perceptive. She is, she loves the outdoors. <laughs> she is loves the outdoors. Um, and she's a vegetarian. And that is our, well, I was going to say our only girl, but I guess we have a second one now. Anyway. That is Ensley. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda let her do her thing and let it swing and play in the sandbox. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, there at school. Why am I? It is Wednesday at 11 a.m. Of course they're at school. I'm like thrown off because Angie's at home, even though she should go to work. Put the baby down. Put the baby down. Look at her performance. This chick is gonna get fired. I mean, she's not, but like, this is pretty, this is pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, pretty awful. And let's actually just follow her there real quick because I also want her to give a bunch of lectures. And she does have this, uh, this, uh, this opportunity to, what is it again? give a commencement speech this weekend which will help her job performance so that'll be that'll be good but yeah we're just gonna like pile these up real quick ooh, 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 ooh. Is no, a toy? why am i screwing uh, up I no don't quit vain. i'm screwing up uh, i am screwing up okay now we're gonna pile them up I mean, she's not even going to be able to do all those. Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna take one away. There we go. She's not even going to be able to do all those, but oh my goodness. They're playing in the sandbox together. Oh, I cannot. What's this? He wants to see Liam age up well. Well, we can we can try to do that for you. We can. So on today's agenda, I'm thinking we might have Reese go on a date with his girlfriend, Renee. Because he wants to do that anyway. So, like, I mean, you might as well. Right? Well, it's a Wednesday night. Well, actually, yeah. Leisure day tomorrow. So he can stay out tonight, kind of. I'm just kidding. Uh, repair that. That's a tragedy. That is a tragedy. So when he gets out of school and comes home and does his homework and stuff like that, we'll probably have him go on a date. Um, one of my amazing, amazing subscribers, 
um, suggested for Reese that instead of what's her face, Beatrice, instead of Beatrice, we could actually just make a girl for him. And they also suggested very specifically who to make and what they should look like and all of that. So I'm gonna actually keep all of that a secret until that sim is actually made. Um, but I think I'm gonna do that actually. Reese wants to go over Ruby Alves. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna do that when he, well, I was gonna do it when he ages up to a young adult. But he has a whole week left, so maybe we could just add her in as a teen. And then whenever Reese ages up, we'll just age her up with him. We could do that too. So I'll probably have her made by the next part. And then I'll introduce her to you guys in that part. So, yeah. That's exciting as well. But we sh for sure need to see who this Ruby Alvy is that he's trying to go home with. So let's follow them real quick. And then uh, Amir, jeez, thanks Horn. Um, Amir and Reese are going home. We're gonna have them do their homework together. And hopefully by the time that is done, Renee will be available to go on a date. Cause for some reason, as we all know, when they first get out of school, these kids are are moving and grooving and do not have time for anybody until like seven o'clock, so. Okay, so is this Ruby Alvy? Okay, we need to get a, a definite better look at her. Who is this? Why is, I hate that Ricky is still showing up in the, hello, can we go in? I was about to say. I hate that Ruby's, Ruby, can I get it together? Ricky, I hate that Ricky is still showing up in the portrait panel because he's like glitched and invisible, so that's fun. Anyway, let's look at this Ruby chick. That's her. Kind of cute. She has freckles. You're gonna have to see uh, if there is any type of connection there because, uh, I'm sure Reese didn't want to come home with her just to sit by himself in her kitchen and do homework. Ruby Alvy. I wonder if he likes her. I mean, either way, we're not going to pursue anyone that is not this specific sim that I am going to custom make for him. So he better like this chick that I make for him or else Reese might be dying a little soon. Just saying. Anyway. So they're doing homework. That's going to be really boring. So let's go back over here. I mean, I know they're doing homework. Oh, look at that. They're almost <laughs> done. Fun. They're almost oh. done. They're almost done. They are almost done. I hope you guys liked my song. It's called They're Almost Done. Okay. So now that they are done, please get up from the table. I keep forgetting he's glitched. That's so unfortunate. So, so unfortunate. No. I want him to kind of talk to Liam. But I'm trying to wait for Liam to finish his homework first because I don't really want to, like, disrupt that. So I just walk around. Okay, there he is. So let's have Liam get up too or else they'll both sit back down at the table and try to have a conversation. And that's not what we want. So... I guess ask him about his age. I don't really, I mean, whoops. <laughs> Enthuse about exercise, get to know him. Where's Hug? Can we hug him? There it is. So instead of get to know him, just hug him. That's your brother, you already know him. I am 11 days younger than you. Don's a wassum in this. Or so. Okay. Ah, no. um, and then after that, let's first let's invite her. Hello. First let's invite her over. Uh, Natalie Kennedy wants to know from here. No, we're trying to go on a date with our freaking girlfriend. Hello. We're not cheaters. 
yet. Nah, <laughs> Amir, I mean, Reese, really? Uh, Reese is taking forever. Two hours. See, I told you. Did I not tell? I literally told you. These kids are so busy with something until like 7 p.m. So she's she's gonna be busy until like at least 7:30. So that sucks. Guess we're gonna be jump back over here. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care. In my personal gameplay, I like care a lot about like the baby's names, um, but I don't I don't really care that much um, in this in this save. So she literally looks like a clown. Gobbly hurt? That's clown. Ish. You guys know what I'm trying to say, but I'm not gonna say it. But that this 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 makeup. Naso. Clown. 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 So let's compliment her home. Uh, we're not gonna ask attractiveness yet, because I'm kind of trying to stall on that um what we have to friendly introduce what Gina, we have to friendly introduce ourselves if um, ask her sign okay now we don't have to sign share a secret with her get to know her uh, I guess I'm confused about comic books, and I guess now we can find out our attractiveness to her. Like, totally, you know? Amazing secret. And their signs are compatible. He still doesn't have the little attractive moodlet, so that sucks. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're trying to get the tea. We're trying to get the tea. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. Oh, it's 7 30. Let's call this girl back. Uh, I don't really want celebrity points, so no thank you. Invite her over your house. She better say yes, or you're breaking up with her. I'm just kidding. Or maybe not. He does not find her attractive either. You know what? I'm starting to wonder. Is he gay? <laughs> I, you know, you have to wonder these things. So, let's see. Gender preferences. Yeah. Reese is gay, guys. Yeah. That, uh, that throws a wrench in the plans. Reese is gay. Berserk. Um, mm-hmm, okay. Uh, so that's really, that's good for him. Look, I just want to let it be known that my little, like, all these noises that I'm making over here, look, that is amazing, okay? Everyone, Reese is gay. The only reason why I was making that noise is because the suggestion from the, the my subscriber is now uh, null and void because... Reese wants himself a piece of man. Okay? Reese wants himself a piece of man. This makes so much sense now. I I just I, I feel like we just have so much more clarity. I really, really do. I don't even remember if she said she was coming over or not. I forgot because I'm just so shook. I'm just so shooketh. Um, so let's just do it again, just in case she said no. Come on. Come on. Okay, yeah, she said yes. So, that's really, hmm. I guess we just have to start searching for 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 a dude. I guess I don't really have to make a custom person for him anymore. The only reason why I was gonna make the custom person is because obviously the suggestion. But that suggestion was a woman, and he wants a man, so we gonna get him a man. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We also need to teach Liam how to drive. Okay, Renee can hurry up. She really can. I knew all these kids that we had. It was we were bound to get a gay one. It was bound to happen. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I really don't know why. Because, like, you would think it'd be obvious, like... Well, no, it wouldn't be obvious, because he really only talked to, what, like, two girls? And he didn't like any of them? But normally, normally, what I have found in my gameplay is that when you meet, like, multiple women that... Or men, when any of your sims meet anyone and their ranks are constantly ones out of tens... Normally that means you, sh you should probably check their gender preferences. <laughs> That's all I have to say. It's just you should you should probably evaluate and and check just to see what what they even like. Because we're over here forcing something or assuming something on Reese that that is just it's not true, right? We're over here thinking you know we're gonna get him a girlfriend, and the whole time he doesn't he doesn't even want one. So now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, and, uh, no. Ensley, get out of his bed. Get out of his bed. It was real cute that she was reading you to sleep, but no. Get out. Um, okay, and then he needs to eat and go to sleep. We're starting to have so many kids, I'm, like, overwhelmed and, like, cannot even... I, I just, I can't. I cannot keep track of everyone. It's, like, impossible. It is impossible. Okay, so the boys are eating. He's he's still working out. Liam is gonna be freaking jacked, I tell ya. Is it? Okay, no. I thought it said it was clogged. I tell ya, man. Liam's gonna be jacked. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Liam, bodybuilder. Okay, so the boys are gonna eat and go to sleep. And uh, I will pick up tomorrow on Leisure Day. Ah, so it's summer. <laughs> wow, it just dawned on me. Okay, anyway, I will pick up on Leisure Day. Okay, guys, so everyone is awake. And I'm actually going to have Angie go ahead and take everyone to the uh, festival. Except for the baby, of course. Molly... Molly can't go, but she'll be able to <laughs> join the festivities later on in life <laughs> when she's a little older. And uh, also, Amir's birthday <laughs> is tomorrow. So our first baby boy is about to age up and leave the nest very, very, very shortly. And Angie actually wants to see him graduate, and Devin wants to see him age up well, and he wants to throw a birthday party for him, so we're definitely going to have to do that tomorrow. Um, luckily, it's a Friday, so it's not a school night or anything like that, so that'll be very interesting. And look at that. Ooh, Angie. Look, all his slots are filled up, so I'm ignoring that. <laughs> I'm ignoring that. They'll probably do it on their own anyway. Um, but most of them are hungry. So the first thing we're going to do is actually have an eating contest with anyone in our family who can join it. Uh, ah, that Beatrice chick with the kid wants to go on a date with Amir. No. No, fam. What? This is more people than I can handle at once. They're your family members. Look, I get it. You have, you know, loner issues Actually or whatever. On. But that's your family. Like, you're literally, like, best friends with, like, everybody. So that should not be an issue for you, Reese. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, let's see who's going to win. My bet is on Angie because I bet that chick can eat. <laughs> My bet's on Angie. Come on. 
Look at that. And she cheated. She started going first. I mean, she's probably going to lose. She's probably going to lose that one. Who? <laughs> I'm right. Angie's winning. You see how her hot dogs just went down? Yeah. I knew that chick could eat. I knew it. All these babies? Mm hmm. That chick can eat. I just know it. I know it. You can go, Angie. <laughs> Win for the girls. That's right. You show them. So anyway, they all obviously got full. So the rest of the kids need to eat. A.K.A. just Ensley and Reese need to eat. Um, Ensley's going to have to pee here in a minute. Oh, and so is Angie. And I think Liam just went to throw up. That's lovely. And Devin did too. I know he didn't. Why are they just like running away? That's weird. Anywho, uh, Angie, come pee. Come pee, and then you can. There's too many people. We'll tell them to get off. Um, have some French fries. Have some French fries. Oh. Reese, oh. I'm sorry, Reese. I was about to yell at you. Just kidding. Just kidding. Can she skate now? Wish you could, like, kick people off. Can I, like, kick them off? No. Well, then I guess. Let's see. And then he could have. He could have funnel cake. That's very leisure day. And she can get her face painted with. Uh, let's do whimsical. Hopefully they don't F it up. Okay, now it is Ensley's turn to pee. And you know what? While we're here, since this chick stood him up yesterday, um, and he's not in the group either, we can invite her out. So let's have her try to meet us here if she can. If she can. She'll probably stand us up again, but, you know, we gotta see. She's not interested right now. Of course she's not. What is her last name? Is she a Langerak? Yeah. Where does this chick live? Renee is at the library. Haha, -ha, thanks for snitching. Thanks for snitching. Okay. So... You don't want to come to us? We'll come to you. We will come to you. In real life, kids, don't be stalkers. That is uh, not nice and against the law. So, yeah. So let's ask her about her day. Oh, someone died? Well, maybe that's why she doesn't want to hang up with us. I said hang up with us. Did I? Whatever. That is probably why she doesn't want to hang out with us. So that's kind of understandable if someone died. I think like her mom or like dad died or something. Let's check her family tree. This is the joys of having mods. Check her family tree. Yeah, her parents are old. Yeah, her mom died. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. That's a huge deal actually, so. Now this is kind of all clicking. This is all clicking. We need to really, really pencil. Now I feel really bad. I feel really, really bad. And now we need to work on finding Reese a boyfriend. Because uh, that's kind of a big deal. And that makes me now... Now I want to check Liam's gender preferences just to see. I was about to get him pregnant, guys. I know you saw it. Let's check Liam's gender preferences. Why am I going to advanced? It's an intermediate. Okay. So Liam's straight. Um, and I'm obviously we know Amir's straight because he has a girlfriend and she was 10 out of 10 attractive. So he's straight. Well, he could be bi. So I guess we could check it. Um. Oh. 
Oh my god. What? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. So he really likes guys. And, uh, he really, really likes girls. He does like boys more, though. But he really, Nikki. really likes both. And he has a girlfriend. So, Reese is, Reese, I mean, Amir is bi. Yeah. Amir is definitely, like, literally a thousand percent bi. So, now we know. And look at that. We weren't even going to check it before, but good thing we did. Aurora. Good thing we did. Mm -hmm. I should name this part, wow. like, checking gender preferences. I'm not going to, mm -hmm. but I should. Um, speaking of Angie, look at her face. Look at her face. Look what they did to our girl. They oh. jacked her up. Aw, be smooched. Oh. Oh. Mm. I love mm. them. We might have to invite her to the party and then age her up, too, so that they can oh. kind of, you know, do their thing together. But, uh... Bar. Nibsy hobble. Yeah. So, he wants to go on a date with her, so I'm kind of thinking... We might have to send the family home or just, like, disband their group. Because maybe they could, like, catch the movie at five and then, like, go bowling. I think that'd be a really cute date. This part's probably going to be a little longer. Just because I'm probably going to end up playing through this whole day. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys don't mind. You um, Hopefully not. Uh, so, let's disband their group. And let's ask her out on a date. Oh, oh she's having a bad day. Oh. Hopefully she doesn't say no. Okay, she said yes. Yay. Yay, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so hug her. Oop, oop. Okay, okay, just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. So console her then. Cheer her up. Maybe she'll feel better. Oh my Linda god, girl. Bonsai. Get a grip. Oh, she's neurotic? Mm. So what's that mean? She like goes off on people? Mm. Oh. Well, Molly's neurotic. Oh. Let's see what it actually means. Oh my god, can they take care of our Curly freaking Rocky. kid? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Let's see. Your sim often can't quite get a grip on life. Oh my gosh. Didn't I just literally tell her to get a grip? She literally can't. Wow, she literally can't. That's crazy. Okay, so let's just, I guess, be more friendly to her since she's kind of like not being able to get a grip on life right now. So let's share a secret with her. Uh, let's hug her again. Friendly, though. Not amorously. Or amorous amorously? Amorously? I don't know. Okay, let's see if she can Dance flirt with us. Mcnorgle, uh, girl. Uh, girl. I guess admire her. Have a oh. Oh. Uh, oop, Look at that. He wants to see a movie. <laughs> We're going to. Uh, I guess shock a bra her. Shock a bra. Shock a bra. Talk about the rain. Gee, no. Well, I guess talk about the imaginary rain. Okay, movie time. Look, he wants to kiss her. He's like, oh my god, can you just let me freaking kiss you? Um, we're definitely going to see psycho podiatrist because what did I say? Oh no, it is psycho podiatrist. Yeah, we're definitely going to see that just because it has the word psycho in it and um yeah, Renee is, is a little psycho. So, yeah, we're going to let her watch her own people on the screen. So. Ah, uh, poor Amir can't freaking run. He can't run. The poor boy. The poor boy. <laughs> okay, go in. No. Good 
She's gonna be miserable. She's gonna be freaking miserable. It's a good thing she's. Yeah, it's a good thing she's occupied. She's gonna be freaking miserable. freaking miserable mess. She's literally still mourning her mom, her mom's passing, and then her dad dies. Uh, you might not be getting that kiss, buddy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you might not be getting that kiss. That might be something that we just have to just, just wrap it up, because it, it, it might not happen. Okay, so apparently Angie's in mourning because he died, I guess. I didn't even know that she knew him. Uh, now he wants to make out with her. That's probably definitely not happening. So, let's see if she wants to bowl with us. Try to make her happy, you know? He's going through an extremely... And I mean extremely difficult time for a teenager, a teenager who just lost both of her parents. It's freaking miserable, man, I tell ya. Like, I'm making jokes and everything about like, oh, you're not getting a kiss and whatever, but honestly, this is a horrible time for her. <laughs> like, a really, really bad time. Woohoo! Oh my god. Devin enjoyed a woohoo with Angie. Oh god, now Angie. <gasps> oh, what time is it? 8:49. Okay, at 4 a.m. We'll figure out if Angie's uh pregnant again. Jeez Louise. I swear to God, if we have a seventh kid, the only bright side to that is that Amir will be moving out. So technically we would have the same amount of kids living in the house. That is like the only only bright side. This is nuts. It's just nuts. Just nuts. Alright. Let's bowl. No, not you, Angie. Jeez. Bowl with Renee. Yeah, see, now she's mourning her dad, too. Oh, what an awful time. What an awful, awful time. Okay. Oh, man. You see what happens when we're not always watching Devin and Angie? They just get it on. The freaking rabbits. They, like, they act like they don't even have kids. They're like, look, it's just me and you. Screw all these other people living in our house. All his curfews in an hour, he's gonna have to go home. He's gonna have to go home. Okay, well, we'll let her, like shoot one and then we're probably gonna cancel the bowling try to kiss her and then go to okay, cool. so see if she'll let you hug her will she even let you hug her hello one day excuse us we have a curfew you do too, Missy, just because your parents died doesn't mean you don't have any rules to follow, even though technically, technically it would. Technically it would. Okay, Renee. Oh my God, Renee. Uh, 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 hold her hands. Hold her hands. Oh my God, we're going to get busted by the cops. She's going home. 
Okay, well, I guess end the date. Hmm, okay. Yes, okay would be a great way to describe that date. Maybe the next one will be a bit more lively. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna let everything she says go over my head because her parents died. And that's a tragedy. That's a tragedy, so I will excuse her rudeness. <laughs> I will excuse it. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to put everyone to bed and I'm going to end this part here. Um, in the next part, Reese will be aging up and Renee will be aging up with him and they will be moving out. Well, not they. Uh, Amir will be moving out and then uh, we'll see how story progression kind of takes his life and stuff like that and see, you know, what happens with him and Renee and all that good stuff so that's what is gonna happen <laughs> in the next part i'm just like so i feel like every time i play this family i just end up like super flustered and overwhelmed um so that's exactly how i'm feeling right now flustered and overwhelmed but yeah so i'm gonna end this part here and i will see you guys in the next part so definitely give this video a thumbs up give it a thumbs up for this crazy hectic family um and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i am obsessed obsessed with all of you who already have already i dream about you i think about you all day and night um yeah so bye everyone i'll see you in the next video